So world-renowned cupcake enjoyer EDP445 has returned to YouTube for what seems to be the 20th time. This time, he's creating another channel. All right, y'all, so this is my 9 million attempt at trying to create a mother YouTube channel. Um, we'll see how long this bull lasts. Probably won't last long at all. I guess you can consider this a little test video to see what they'll decide to do. And who knows, if this doesn't get yanked down, probably the next video will or the third one, or the fourth one, or the fifth one, or the sixth one, or the seventh one, or the eighth one. Who knows at this goddamn point? So, um, yeah, we'll see. If you don't know who EDP is, which I wouldn't understand why, because he's basically a money glitch on YouTube, literally every YouTuber has covered him, I ain't gonna lie. He's a YouTuber who gained popularity among the NFL fan base for his crazy Eagles rants and even food reviews. I saw a few of his videos before everything went downhill, and I get why he had fame. He's always been himself, but to a fault. Because in April of 2021, his career and life as he knew it were basically over after he got exposed for talking to a minor. The original EDP 445 confrontation with channels known as Predator Poachers and CC Unit was in 2021, where they grilled him about messages that were exchanged with a decoy who posed as a 13 year old girl that contained explicit content. This is where he came up with the viral excuse of him just being there for cupcakes. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. <laughs> and then go back home. And this was basically the end of EDP's online reputation. He privated all his videos, but that didn't help because both his main and second channel would get terminated soon after. He then tried to move his brand over to his own website, where he just talked shit about the YouTubers who spoke on the situation, which included Chet Goldstein, one of the people that confronted him. At this time, EDP rarely showed remorse for his actions and played victim all the time. At some point, he claimed to be suffering from kidney failure, I guess to make people feel bad for him, and nobody bought that shit outside of the 10 EDP fans boys left. It got so bad to the point where he had to even start streaming on the Bego app and worked as a security guard in Walgreens. Just put my fries in the damn bag. Oh, G, EDP, I'm such a big fan of you. Like, I'm being so serious. Thank you. I, how, like, how's life been? Like, why did you come to Bego? You said what? Why did you come to Bego? What the fuck is Bego? This app. Oh, you mean Bigo? Oh, yeah. You know what the fuck yeah, you're talking about? Yeah. Um, like you can find some bad bitches on here too, bro. You can find some bad bitches. On nigga, here too. I... <laughs> listen, man, I'm cool on that bullshit. I'm flying solo, nigga, from now on, man. So you don't want bitches, but you want kids? Block him, he's gone. In July of 2023, EDP will issue one of the worst apologies I've ever heard on YouTube. Proceeding not to touch on, no pun intended, any of the crimes he was caught doing. I also wanna say thank you so much to the fans. You know what I mean? Um, to my fucking supporters. Um, dating way back um, in 2010 when I first started making videos um, on YouTube. You know what I mean? Um, even, you know, um, transitioning onto my own fucking website um where i'm continuing to make content you know what i mean and try to put out the word try to make equals videos and shit like that you know what i mean um thank you so much honestly thank you so much you guys have no idea how happy how appreciative and how and how blessed i am to have such a look to have such a loving supporting caring following but with that being said i want to take full responsibility for my actions that happened on april 21st 2021 um the entire youtube shit that went down the entire youtube incident you know what i mean um that went the fuck down i even want to get into it you guys already know what the fuck happened um i'm taking full responsibility for accountability um for my actions you know what i mean um i have taken the proper measures and the proper steps forward to seek out help um to try to you know get my head on right and to make sure that you know in the distant future that i do not hurt you know what i mean my loving caring supporting friends and family because they they are the ones that hurt the most they are the ones that suffer the most you know what i mean um i've received numerous fucking messages screenshots from my friends and family um you know what i mean them getting harassed them getting bullied them getting fucked with by people you know what i mean and um it's all my fault it's been pretty fucked up um it's been a long ass fucking road 
you know what I mean? A long, scary, dangerous road, you know? And again, like I mentioned before, I have nobody to blame but myself. You will receive backlash from this video and responded to this hate later that month in another video taking back this quote unquote apology. That it was an apology towards the haters and all that shit. No, 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 no. Me personally, I made that apology video and it was directed towards my close friends that I hurt directly. Regardless if I was, you know, regardless of what had happened, my actions um, hurt them badly, severely, you know what I mean? And so um, I felt like me making that apology video was more so an apology towards them. No, the apology was towards all the people that hurt directly, was to my friends that I hurt directly. Was set up, bro. That's what it was. How were you set um, up? How was I set up? Well, I mean, if you go back, dude, and if you look at the video, man, I mean, these motherfuckers clearly um, lured me to um, an enclosed, well, not an enclosed, but more so like a um, like a secluded area and shit like that, dude. And um, the entire thing was, uh, again, man, I'll say this from day one, dude, and nobody can ever change my mind on this, dude. Um, the entire thing was predicated and based on hate and jealousy, dude. You know what I mean? Um, because, um, I mean, you get motherfuckers, because I'm not sure if you know who he is, but you got motherfuckers like Master at Work, you got all these other, uh, uh, other people, Cold Raven, who do football, they talk football. They basically try to, they basically try to be like my ass in, in the content that I do, but they weren't really successful at it. You know what I mean? And so they were jealous because I was able to, I was able to, um, Bring a fuckload of money in. Do you think you were talking to like an older girl or do you think she was 13? Next question, bro. In August of 2023, EDP would get caught speaking to another minor. This time it was a 15 year old that turned out to be a YouTuber. Leaked audio recordings showed him asking to meet up with her, sending her explicit pictures and threatening her life if she were to ever leak their conversations. But I'm telling you right now, fuck me over. This shit goes wrong in any fucking way, shape or form. Give your soul to the Lord. Right after this, YouTuber Gideon would collaborate with Skeeter Jean, a known predator catcher, to confront EDP after hiring a private investigator to find his whereabouts. This video was uploaded and soon deleted after, but it was entertaining to say the least. Now as for his recent attempt at YouTube, EDP basically says he's gonna use this as a test run. I honestly don't see this going far. I mean, the man went from using his real name on the channel to keeping 445 in his name, and just look at his bio before he changed it to what it is now. Like the man is asking to get banned again, and it's good. Fuck him. His most recent video he uploaded was a rant about women after one of his many failed attempts at having a normal conversation with them. It's funny because last year EDP445 uploaded a video basically quote unquote exposing Mr. Beast crew member Chris Tyson after becoming transgender and tells people to protect their children from him. And he turned out to be somewhat right after the recent events involving Chris. It's just so ironic coming from him after he was exposed for being a predator himself. But that's all I gotta say man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Also let me know if you like these kind of topics that i'm covering or whatever i may include these in the regular stuff that i cover all the time let me know if you like these type of videos and shit like that but i saw man i'll see you on the next one it's fargo and i'm out man